Bonura is a dairy cooperative which specialises in the marketing and sales of dairy products. Our culture is founded on innovation and collaboration and we work with our customer partners to realise their ambitions. We decided to look at automation because we recognise the potential of new technologies in increasing efficiency and also helping us develop talent and deploy human resources in the most effective areas on site. We looked at palletising as the first area to explore automation due to the number of human resources needed. If we can automate that task, then those resources can be used elsewhere. There's a health and safety aspect as well. Onur were looking for end of line palletising to free up some labour. Payloads they were looking for was the 12 kilogram box product, a 6 kilogram box product, and then the cheese, which is a 10 kilogram product. Manually loading and unloading product leads to potential repetitive strain injuries. There's lots of reaching, so you've got to get down low, you've got to get up high to palletise manually. It's an application where it's quite tough to hire people because it's a repetitive task, low skill. The turnover for the employee is quite quite high and it can be a real challenge for most uh, of our uh, customers. They will automate the palletizing and the people that they free up will be assigned to a higher value task. The challenges with palletizing the uh, dairy products in the film are the film can become quite slippery and compared to doing cardboard boxes which is quite a flat surface and uniformed, the dairy products can come in different shapes and forms. When we were looking to find a solution, we searched for a few suppliers, but they didn't offer the collaborative robot. It was more of a robotic palletizing cell, which means the human interaction would have been completely guarded off. It's important to have the option of people to be able to work around the cobot due to the nature of the product. We pull out on pallets quite regularly. We got in contact with RAI UK and Robotique, which helped us find a solution. What we do is basically we build a solution all based on the universal robots. The robot is a tool that can be used for any kind of application, but we develop a software level that's dedicated for palletizing. When I found out about the UR20, we were quite excited due to its capability of lifting up to 20 kg. It also is not limited on the reach of the arm, which means it can stack higher and further away. The task that the cobot is performing is a simple pick and place. So the operators would feed the dairy products or the box dairy products into the conveyor. The cobot would then pick up and put onto a pallet in a correct format. Having a solution like we have, it means a visual setup. So you don't need to program lines of codes. You will just open the uh, palletizing interface, enter your new box dimension and weight and the uh, pattern, and then you just press start and the robot will do everything automatically. The process of working with Universal Robots, RAI UK and Robotique has been quite smooth. We've had regular updates throughout the process. They've done a lot of trialing and fed back at every point. The feedback of, of customers using Universal Robots is that they're, they're user friendly, we have many customers who are repeat customers. They buy multiples. Very satisfying to see the system now deployed and up and running. I'm hoping after the install of this cobot that the business will be a lot more open to adding more automation on the ingredients and food sites. Repetitive and dull tasks just need to be automated. That need won't go away. It will keep on increasing. So for the future of automation is, is bright. It's very exciting to see the UR20 running. The response here has been, been excellent. There was a small ripple of applause when we completed the first pallet, so which, was, which was nice.